Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rome, or Ecuador, or Rome, or the channel, where, unfortunately, over the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to figure out a way to get the Pontic save to be viable again. Uh, it just doesn't seem to be a possibility, unfortunately, where we are, you know, I'm able to load in, and it will just, you know, play for a little bit, and then it crashes. Um, so I'm going to take that to mean that I need to start a new save. I don't know, you know, exactly what is going on with that. I've tried a few different things. None of them seem to really be working. So we are still here on the Invictus mod. And that's why uh, Victoria 3 appeared. It'll, it'll still appear from time to time. But outside of Crusader Kings 3... Or the Crusader Kings franchise, I should say, as a whole. Imperata Rome and the this time period is my favorite time period. Um, I'm a bit of an odd duck. I feel like I should have been born in antiquity or you know the Middle Ages. I feel like I don't know. I, I just I. I obviously like technology because I'm using a computer to talk on YouTube and, you know, stream a video game, but I just, I don't know. I can't really explain it. It's just a feeling I have, a connection I have. I would say probably through about, yeah, I don't know, maybe the Industrial Revolution, I don't know. Maybe it was the Victorian age, I don't know. Um... But I feel like I, I was born a hundred or so years later, or maybe even a couple thousand years late. But anyway, enough about all that. So I don't like playing as like massive countries, which is, you know, I've kind of talked about every time I start a uh, campaign with a grand strategy game, right? So while Rome is definitely intriguing, Locandy is also intriguing. The only problem with that is Rome is going to... I, I, I had an alliance with them. I was, you know, sending them money to try to prove my relation. Everything I could do with it is like, yeah, now we're going to attack you anyway. Um, which I get, right? You know, it's historically accurate. I was just, you know, it's one of those things where I always like to think to myself, I was like, well, what would have happened if the Etruscans or the Sabites or the Apulians or Lucania, you know, was able to defeat Rome and you know, would they have formed their own another Italic Empire? Would Carthage have reigned supreme? The Greeks have made a comeback. You know, that's the kind of stuff where I'm always really kind of fascinated by when it comes to alternative history is who would have filled that void? Because somebody would have. That, that, that's the one thing that history does tell us. Somebody would have. So, Robesia, Settled Tribe. So Moxie and their crew is in 103 people. Don't know a great deal about them. The Getty tribe, I do know a little bit about them. Uh, So similar religion to Odorissia. The only negative to being Odorissia, I think, is that
We are kind of tied into Thrace. But you know what? We'll give it a shot. We have an oratory slot idea or we will say that our generals and admirals will be more loyal military well Sorry, I just had a door knocker who looked like he was going to come up to my door, but so far he did it anyway. Um, we'll actually go with uh, Spidium. The duty of the host should be extended to all those who visit our nation, especially those with whom we wish to persuade. Our military idea will be... Um, Marshal Ethos, ensuring our soldiers and veterans hold a prestigious place in the social hierarchy is the key to their contentment and loyalty. Right, so we are obviously a tribal nation. And at that, we are also a vassal of Thrace. I do kind of like the unit sprite, can't lie. We will whisk, disband our levies, though. I can't declare war for two years, but again, we're our vassals, so I don't even know how really pertinent that is. Uh, we are unmarried. I am 56 years old. I do have a child, though. Cotius, uh, who is 24. Is he married? He is unmarried as well. I feel like his marriage is going to be more important than mine. Uh, we have four things of wood, two things of funny, one thing of grain, one thing of leather. Or two, well, actually two, I guess, of leather. An extra vegetable, an extra livestock. 13 out of 40 pops in our capital. We have no nobles. We have four citizens, three freemen, four tribesmen, and two slaves. Attica to Thrakia. Heavy entry tree, 0 0.09 a month. And 0.2% tax. I don't know. Our Marsonia will give us population output plus one, 0 0.09 tax each month for horses. For light and heavy cavalry. I feel like that's important. Uh, we have so much wood. Um, yeah, we do have two of light cavalry. All right, we are Od Odorician of the Thracian culture group. Odorician are is our primary population. We also have Macedonians. We are 85.0% Zalmoxian. So if we go with Zalmoxis, the Zalmoxian deity of culture, Zalmoxis or Gebel Isis, as some call him, was a wise man that convinced the nations to follow his beliefs and faith. Though he's supposedly human at some point, the tribes now worship him as a divine being that guides the dead, effectively working as their. Psychokopomp. So we are going to call him in, which gives us monthly civilization change plus 0 0.03 per set. Um.
think wine would make more sense. I don't think we have any wine. No, we do not have any wine. Local free bid happiness plus 0 0.4%, 0 0.11 gold. And we'll take that from Philistia, actually. So we've used up our trade. Uh, we'll have a martial focus and say that we have a siege craft, siege craft, siege craft focus. Sorry, as I lose the ability to speak there for a moment. Start with 126 gold, 2.11 monthly, 0.43 wages, 2400 bad power. So we'll, we'll get the game running. Do we have any mission? Attempted to make friends with the Alusianist Delanadid, defending the character with a bad certain cause over the course of the chain. If successful, Zima Filas Darport becomes friends with Alusianist Dolanadid. He's a clan chief of the Dolanid clan and is likely the next tribal chief. Apulia wants wood. We will give them wood. Carthage wants honey for 0.46 a month. We will export that as well. Origami wants wood for 0.29. Athens wants wood. And Caroni wants wood. I mean, we ourselves are, do not have any ability to build a fleet at the moment, so, you know. We sell plus one honey, plus one livestock, plus one vegetable, plus one leather. So Thrace would have to cast his belly on us for five years if we were to break our vassalization to them. So currently we have... Eighty-seven pops. Crobia, Crobizia has hundred and three. Right, we can't make any vacillation claims on Crobiza. Because we are still obviously under the control of Thrace. We can't send 25 gold to Gedea and try to improve the relations with us, which we will do. Right now it's negative 18. I'll try to marry my son Codius off, who is dull, good-natured, and he has the blood of Terrors. The Odorissans trace their lineage back to Terrors, the founder of the kingdom. They claim that he was ascended for the priest king Orpheus, or as their nation cousins know him, Zoboxus. The Odorissian royal house viewed Orpheus as a progenitor and protector of their line. They take the Labyrinth, the kind of double-bladed axe associated with Orpheus as a symbol of their dynasty. Okay, well, we can't bury him to anybody who's outside of the family. Uh, Skadal is unfortunately part of an average day of the Odorissian clan council. Ordinarily, we would simply ignore such pretty squabbles. However, on this occasion, the esteemed Trakdakos Dolanid was found in flagrant delicto with his lover, 
Adrian orders it by his spouse for a scopoterminate diopid. Mr. Diopid, the spouse of a co despairs, has appealed to the cloud council to have Trachidos stripped of his office as punishment for his brazenly public vice. We will have him, um, uh, yeah, we'll have him lose his governmental position. So we have a scored family because we don't have enough of one family in the government anymore. The Dolnids. I mean, unfortunately, we have to re-promote him because he's the only one in the family that we could have there. And there was nobody else that we could bring in. We are also going to try to get Dardania's opinion of us to improve. Not sure where Thrace's army is going. I guess to Certica maybe? Did that just kinda of, I think that just kinda of popped up, but We pay four pops to Thrace each month. I mean, realistically, Trebalia has 94 people. They have more people than what we do. So the Crovisian culture is a member of the Thracian culture group. Light cavalry, 20%. Heavy infantry, 40%. Light infantry, 40%. So we are going to try to create Dacia. I don't know if that's actually a mission we could do or not. So we do have a noble now. I'm trying to get, get the Getai on my side, though. Be a show of force. The people of Popodova, Thrakia, have long opposed their faith and questioned our rule. 
that our quarter conflict has arisen between our bodyguard, Disporus, Buka, Abed, who wants to convert the city by force, and our strike strike Dekos, Dolided, who wants to take the process step by step. A conversion by force is sure to leave casualties at rest, but it will most likely be more effective as well. We'll let him do Trachytos do his best, best, sets the religion of a Macedonian freeman in Pobdova to Zalmaxian, same thing, and so that happens twice. Trachytos gains five loyalty, Disporos will lose ten. But, I mean, it gets us people, right? We, well, at least helps convert them to our culture and religion. So I do want to break Trace's hold on me, but at the same... Oh, Seuss. Of late, Seuss owed Arisian has begun feeling the bit of the cold. He can hardly bring himself to struggle up the stairs. He is now frail. He's 57 years old, which for antiquity is not terribly young. I mean, I've still got a little less than 20 years before I get to 57, but I can understand. Anyway, so I've been trying to wait to see if the Etigadids on Thrace would go to war, which apparently they are. I didn't get a notification, which is a little weird, given that they're my overlord, but okay. Well, since, well, no, wait, Thrace doesn't look like they're at war. They just randomly took a lot of land. So we did try to cancel our tribal, but we are no longer reporting wide for Philistia to Thracia. We did try to cancel our tribal vassal status with Thrace. Uh, Philistia to Thrace, we will import that. The Getty. Why do we have a negative? Too many relations, different rank. What rank are they? No, Serdia, I don't want a. You are one of the places I might declare war on. Armistia is at war. Uh, Dardania is at war with Armistia, and 
Oxo Aya? My apologies. What what rank? I don't I mean I'm no longer a vassal, we're both tribes. I mean there's bigger tribe than I am that to be sure, but Tilateria They're in an alliance with Trebalia, so unfortunately that won't work. Potu Latencia? That will work. We'll take the province of, of Pannonia. We'll try to fabricate a claim there. And this is the province of Mogia itself. We'll take third against Trebalia. We will go back up here to Podu Latencia. Well, I guess we now don't like us for one reason. Um, we'll send a gift of 528, which can improve our relations way up to 25. So we cannot do anything until July the 5th. Porto Latencia has agreed to join our alliance. And we are now at war because they are at war. Burra de Vencia Cacasena. A curious discovery soothes our nearest city. If Harbor was working the fields near Sulopolis, but a weird, ad weird aberration was unearthed. A silver idol of some rustic log forgotten god covered in strange runes that are indecipherable. Trad the coast, Dolanid, who is an expert in such matters, has said that a Babylon spirit is trapped inside the statuette and that we have unwittingly unleashed a curse. While Trakaitos has said this is a terrible omen for people, not everyone is convinced that this is a stroke of bad luck. I'm going to say we're going to melt it down. He will lose 50 loyalty, but we'll gain 70 gold. Who are we at war with? Kako Kisensia and who? Burra de Vencia. I'm trying to... Where is this place? Oh, they're right there. We have 11 armed levies we could raise and one transport train.
a curious discovery, sour belt. Lately, our farmers have been complaining that their cows have been producing sour belt. That tastes of garlic and curdles almost immediately. It is so pungent and foul that not even their cows are drinking it. Many animals are dying. This dreadful phenomenon is spread countrywide. And although Sue's Ordiorosi denies it, there is murmuring that some god must have been gravely offended by some ill-advised behavior by the Ordiorosian leader. We lose three stability. Oh, we don't have... Trabalia will give us military access, thankfully. So we are marching our army up there in the year 453. It's December 453 uh, to try to help out our allies. Bura de Vencia and Kakosenia. That's who we are at war with. As I trying to remind myself as much as you know, make this statement. So we do have fifty five hundred men. We are gonna try to Fugitives cross the border, flee the dreadful war with Trosibia, the number of important dignitaries and managed to escape to our lands. Hoping to find refuge. Our advisors are committed against giving them asylum due to the fragile political circumstances in a region, and if indeed much favor may be gained with Trocibia if we were to finish the job for that. We will welcome them. I don't even know who is Trocibia. Like, seriously, though, I, I, I'm i trying to figure out where is Trocibia. Bill could only marry him off to a family member. Like, and I mean, again, the, the you know, the Talibans were... Famous for, you know, kind of inbreeding, obviously, the Habsburgs and, you know, in Europe. So, I mean, it was a thing, don't get me wrong. It just... If I could find a different family. We have different families, don't we? We've got three families. We have the Dipodids, the Dolanids, and the Odorissids. Um... Deify the living God and the spirit of the nation, Baha, Dra, Bahu, Yadava, surely breathes, bleeds, and dies just like any mortal. This is a scheme to probably be the influence of Arya. The envy of Thrace. Our neighbors wonder is the object of envy in all of our populace. The people speak of the superiority of Thrace, dangerous talk. We would do well to heed the mood of the people and refocus their efforts on creating our own body to work. Or if all else fails, we can always take Pergamon from our neighbor instead. We should appreciate what we have. We'll lose five stability, but we'll also gain 15 prominence.
What is this war being fought for? The first, it doesn't really say. Okay. We do have a claim on Serdia. From one clan to another, one of our clan chiefs, Sidalek, is the open suggested moving some of the people of the clan of Aluz and his Dolanid to his role instead. Not only would they be under a new ruler, that would be more loyal to us, but he also has promised to maximize the productivity of the people under his rule. Although Zenis Dolanid, on the other hand, has made no such promises yet, simply moving people out of his clan's land would be seen as an aggressive action. We will do it. So we can get the centralization. Currently we have none. So our army is up here in the city of Baradaba in Malvenensis. Laying siege. We will go back down to our capital. Of Seopolis. We have two nobles, three citizens. They are all unhappy. So court of law, civilization level goes up, but also citizen happiness increases. Forum improves. The freeman's happiness. We are no longer importing horses from Marsonia. We're going to build a library. I'll take 65 gold. But that'll be the first building we build to try to improve on our um, research. Cannot get horses from anywhere. Okay. Um... We can get... We'll get fruit from Thrace. Stinks about the horses, but not much we can really do. Uh, we'll gain 50 prestige, and Sufis will gain 10 popularity for loyalty and respect, which will be completed. Anyways, I think we are going to be getting closer and closer to the end of this episode. Sorry for maybe not having to be the greatest episode, but we do have our independence now. We do have a couple of claims. We might be able to go to war. We have won the siege of Buradaba. It lasted 260 days before the garrison finally succumbed to hunger disease. Podu Latencia now controls the province. Desires to dissolve part or 0.14 popularity. We captured two pops. 
One do Castro Besitra and one die. Castro Besitra. Um. Okay, well, went to their territory. That's interesting. Well, I guess it's not because they have the claims, right? So. So we are sieging down one of their provinces here, or one of the allies, I guess. Our second levy of Thrace is starving. So we are trying to fight them here, the 3,000 Burdavetsis. Restoring reputation, Aluzadis, Dolanid has come to us, ask for help in restoring his favor among his clan. It is unclear how he lost their approval in the first place, but we should be able to restore it if we set our resources aside to help him. His story, his reputation would surely make him more loyal to us as well, but is his loyalty worth the political power he will obtain? Um... Yeah, we'll lose the five stability, but we will aid him. But we don't, because we no longer have an unloyal character, which is important. The, the loss of stability is that great. As we have the Battle of Desadaba, which we win. We lost 378 out of our 7,000. We killed almost 900 of their 2,700. So we are going to send our army back home. Building a blacksmith. They have leather, base metals, and more wood. Their armies are exiled, which we know about. But we're working on bringing them home. But that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode, where we have our independence. We're try we built our first library to try to help out with the technology, which you know really isn't helping out that much. Um, we are going to be declaring wars, hopefully. And yeah, I do want to kind of form a little bit of Dacia, if we can. Um, We'll pause real quick while I read the two mission trees we have. The Macedonian in the south. A few short years ago, our powerful Adrissian tribes were defeated by the Macedonian general Lysimachus of Thrace, the tyrant that rules the, the near the Hellespot. Although the treacherous Thracian tyrant believes our will to be broken, we shall repair the hubris by overthrowing over the proclaiming the rebooth of an independent Odrysia. I think we'll go with that mission. Because the matter of Thrace, our fortunes awaited four lands. The Thrace region has been considered part of our borders, yet much of it remains beyond our control. Make sure that it is brought under our influence one way or the other. The mission will be considered complete when the entire region of Thrace is under Odrysian influence. So we'll go here with the Macedonian in the south.
So we can't get from court to capital. Uh, Silopius, the fa founded capital by Sufis III, was built in Macedonian fashion to centralize the administration of the old Orissian people. In addition to its administrative purposes, the city also functioned as a religious place. Though called the Polis Suthopolis, never became a real capital city when compared to the likes of Lysabakia or Seleucia, Syria, but this will change under Suth Ordericia. So Suthopolis, or Suthpolis, or Suthopolis, sorry, has long been our central place. I'll try to learn how to say that. Central place of administration and diplomacy, but truth be told, it always been more of a fortress than a true city. Under the inspired rule of Sus Odrissia, however, we have taken steps to improve our capital. By consolidating more of our scared population within its walls, we've built something that is starting to resemble a polis. May it last for a thousand years. Build cost negative five percent, build time negative ten percent for thirty-six months. So we now have twenty-one out of forty people here. Most of them being freemen. We now have 96 total people overall. Which gives us... I think one more levy. But anyways, that is where we are going to stop today's episode. Thank uh, we have another mission can be completed, apparently. Okay, people divided. Um... It'll take 120 days to complete. It'll take 50 political influence, which we have. We get turbulent migration for 60 months, which gives pop migration speed plus two. Multiple Odorissi and Pops bordering regions will resettle in your realm. After the defeat of the hands of Lysimachus in 313 BCE, the remnants of the Odorissian kingdom were banished into the highlands and interior of Thrace, leaving the coastal regions as well as a substantial portion of their populace of Macedonian hands. Let us send word far and wide that the strength of Odorissia gathers in exile, that we would all fight for her glory, or that all that would fight for her glory are welcome to join us. Absolutely. But all right, everyone. Thank you all. I will try to continue to, you know, do better and better in the future about my commentary and the playthrough overall, but we are going to try to reform the Odorissian Kingdom, which I am excited about and excited about, and hopefully it will turn out more successful than our last attempt to create the Pate Kingdom. But anyways, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, take care, and hopefully I'm around to talk to you all in the future. Take care.